Hi everyone, this is Tom aka Subradial and Skog. This is the first video with my own voice and English is not my native language, so please forgive any imperfections. In this video I will show you how I create some sort of instruments from field recordings on Electron Digitact 2. They are actually called presets in Electron environments. These techniques are similar to the ones shown in some of my previous videos, but on this occasion I will use comp filter and filter keyboard tracking for various results. As usual, I recommend to try various types of sounds. It could be synth sounds or sequences, recordings of acoustic instruments, voice, singing, or whatever really. I often use field recordings and uh, found sounds to experiment with and compose my music, but it doesn't mean that any other sound sources are not useful. In the intro part I have played three of those presets made of my field recordings. On track one I had this resonating kind of metallic sounding preset. The original sound used for this preset was recording of metal parts on canal locks. And it sounds like this. Preset on track 2, which sounds like this. A bit similar to the previous preset, but this one was using a recording of rocks being thrown and hit. And the original recording sounds like this. So just a short sample was used to create this instrument. And on track 3... This one is a bit more like a typical synth sound, but with some additional high frequency layer on top of the main sound. The original sound used for this preset was a recording of gathering of birds, many birds making noises. Okay, now let's have a look at the settings of each preset, starting with the first one. On the source page, I have tune parameters set to plus 12. Playback mode is set to forward loop. So when I play the sample, it loops fragments of it. And on modulation page, you will see that LFO is controlling position of the loop. So every time I press a key, it sounds a bit different. In this preset, you can't really hear notes being played. But as I change octave up and down, it affects speed of the sample playback. So with higher notes, it loops faster 
and there is more variation in the sounds. With lower notes, there is less movement and slower changes. This preset is more of a sound effect where you trigger the sounds rather than play them and create melodies with it. So I just release the sound. Okay, let's move on to the filter page now. As mentioned, comp filter is used here. It has ADSR envelope with a bit of attack. With more feedback you could get even more of the resonance, but I prefer to keep it halfway, so it is not too loud and you can hear textures underneath. On amplitude page there is ADSR envelope with short attack and short decay as I wanted a bit of snappy beginning to the sound. Uh, sustain level is quite low so when you trigger more notes you don't hear the sounds being cut off because as you know each track on Digitact is monophonic not polyphonic now on the effects page I have set some bit reduction quite a lot of overdrive to boost the sound and just a bit of sample rate reduction for some crunchy edge on higher frequencies. There is some delay and a decent amount of reverb. Without the reverb it sounds like this. Still quite interesting and perhaps more suitable in case you process the signal with uh, some external reverb pedal or plugins. On delay settings page, uh, you can see that I cut off some frequencies in the feedback just to make it uh, less overwhelming and I feed the reverb with the delay as well and on reverbs page you can see that decay time is pretty long next let's look at modulation page. As usual I use all three LFOs to control various parameters. LFO1 modulates loop position, rate speed and multiplier can be set to your liking and different values will work better for different sounds. Same as with other parameters really. I have waveform set to ramp here and mode set to sign with depth of the LFO all the way up. So every time I press a key, loop position will be different. And as a result, the texture and tone will change as well. LFO2 is set to modulate feedback of the comp filter. Speed of LFO 
affect the resonance so if speed is slower you can't really hear that much of it so I set it at a spot where I can hear that sweep of the resonance Phone 3 controls tune value with random waveform and sample and hold mode. As depth is not set all the way up, it will only provide partial variation to the playback speed. As previously mentioned, the higher the note, or in this case tune value, the faster the speed of sample playback. Now let's have a look at the preset on track 2 which was made of sounds of rocks. It is similar to previous one, but in this case playback mode is set to reverse loop. Com filter with ADSR envelope was used again and other settings on amplitude page are similar. On the effects page uh, the difference is that I have set chorus next to delay and reverb. On modulation page everything is almost identical to previous preset with LFO1 modulating loop position, LFO2 affecting feedback of COM filter, and LFO3 controlling the tune value. The main difference is in the filter settings. On the second page of filter settings you can see that the key tracking is set to 100%, so if I change it to 0, it starts to sound very similar to previous preset. When key tracking is set back to 100% again, you can hear more of a tonal response from different notes. So it makes it the preset more useful if you want to create melodic sequences instead of just triggering a sound at different playback speeds. I often adjust the filter bass with and check how it sounds with some of the frequencies getting cut off. It works differently with different sounds and helps to avoid making the sound too heavy or too harsh. So it's worth to check how it sounds with uh, various notes. Obviously after you make all the adjustments and you're happy with the way it sounds, remember to save it as a preset so you can load it later to your projects. Now let's have a look at the preset on track 3. Uh, this was made of field recordings of birds noises and it is the one that sounds more like a typical synth with some texture on top of it. As you can see, keyboard tracking is set to 100% here. When I play lower notes, it gets more into bass territory with a bit of gentle distortion on top.
let's have a look at the source page. So play mode is set to loop forward. Tune is set to minus 24, but in this case it doesn't really matter that much as the actual sample uh, is used mainly to create that texture on top of the bass sound. So the main sound, uh, the base of the sound in this case, is made with Confilter's feedback set to maximum. Filter frequency is used to tune the sound, so changing it to lower frequencies will make a very nice uh, bass sound. As previously, it is worth to check filter bass with and try different values and see if it works for the sound. On the amplitude page, I have ADSR envelope with short attack, a bit of decay and low sustain, so it is more plucky type of sound. On the effects page I have delay, quite a lot of reverb and overdrive, but even without the reverb it sounds good as delay is doing a lot here. It is worth to try various settings again like ping pong type of delay, like in this case, feeding reverb with delay, changing frequency range of delays, feedback, etc. When there are high frequencies in the sound, uh, I like to add a bit of sample rate reduction as well as bit rate reduction and some overdrive as this will make the sound clearer in the mix. It will stand out more. Bit rate reduction will also add a bit of lo-fi quality and if you want to go lower with the settings then noise which may be desired for some of the sounds. Okay, let's move on to modulation settings. LFO1's destination is Comp Low Pass Filter with depth all the way up, sine waveform and very fast rate. When I slow down the rate, the BPM multiplier, it starts to pulsate, which is also interesting. LFO2 modulates tune with fast rate again. This affects the higher frequencies mainly.
and when I slow down the rate you can hear this sweepy effect which may be something you prefer it is all down to personal taste really so it's worth to try different values and hear if you like the outcome LFO3 modulates start position of the sample playback so every time I press the key it will move to different position adding more variety to the texture here as always I recommend to try these techniques with different samples and try various settings as it can lead to some very interesting results Okay, I think that's all for now. I hope some of my rumblings were useful. If not and you fell asleep, then I hope you had a good one. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like, leave a comment, maybe subscribe to my channel. That always helps. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.